Hey, how's it going? Um, just going to do an example of the noise in this case. Right now, these fans, because I can control them from the top, they're all on low except for the side fan. It is on, it's on completely high because I can turn it down. Well, you can actually see it spinning slower in the video. That's pretty cool. Turn it down, and there's no noise difference. Absolutely none. So, I keep that one on full. Now, um, in my previous videos, I uh, had the CPU fan on full. It, The Vendetta CPU cooler I have is, it just, when I restart, it sets it to full, and I forgot to set it down and it, it's very very loud right now you can see speed 01 is set to 50 percent that's the heatsink these um these aren't even hooked up to the motherboard i didn't need any other fans um to hook up to the motherboard because it has all these fans on the case that are controlled by that board and then um i can tell the ambient heat right now in the case is uh 25 degrees celsius 250 gig uh, Velociraptor, um, 29 degrees Celsius, CPU, 26 degrees Celsius, uh, one terabyte Western Digital is 31 degrees Celsius, uh, there's all three of my cores, hardly, hardly using any CPU power, very, very efficient processor, um, but Tell them, you guys, here, I'm going to set it to 100, and you'll hear the difference. Hear that? That's the CPU fan alone. Um, it's, it, it's a very, very loud CPU fan. And then, let's turn these up to full. Now, it's the front, and the top running at full, and the side, which doesn't make any noise. Now, if we go into our Catalyst Control Center, I can set the GPU fan to 100%, and it is very loud. Very, very, very loud. I mean, not even funny how loud it sounds like a lawnmower, the fan on the HD5770, it's just crazy. Turn the GPU fan off, set the CPU fan to 50%, and turn these two back down. And, um... It's just got a very, very nice hum. At 50%, the processor, even I've played Crisis for literally hours on that processor with the Vendetta CPU cooler I have on there, and uh, it never got above 31 degrees Celsius, and the fan was at 50%. Uh, I have the, the X3720. It's a 2.8 gigahertz tri-core Phenom 2. I have it overclocked to 3.5, no, 3.2. I, I push it to 3.5, but I like to keep it at 3.2. And that's pretty much it um, for today. Uh, I also have just a cool little thing. Um, I don't even know if it's up right now. Sometimes it doesn't always work right. The G15 speed fan, yeah, it says it's not not running but if I uh, launch speed fan then it says check your INI file speed fan will calibrate and then there's all my temps come up on the GPU I mean on the G15 and it's really cool the only thing is the GPU temp is not accurate it's it doesn't change off 36 and I've, I've worked on that but all the other shows the voltage on the 12 volt rail 5 volt rail 3 volt rail 3.3 volt I've got everything on there. T1, I think that's a hard drive or something. I don't even know. But all I really care about is the CPU and the graphics card. The graphics card, you heard the fan. Don't really need to worry about that overheating. But there it is. It's a 
very quiet, very, very well cooled case. And I guess uh, I don't really know why I would ever need to push those fans up to full. Um, it's just it's just overkill there's there's nothing unless I mean I've encoded like six or seven videos at a time running in handbrake changing the format of four or five movies all at the same time and sure my processor goes up to ninety percent but it never gets above thirty to thirty two degrees celsius with the fans at fifty percent I mean with the CPU fan at fifty percent all the case fans at minimum um, except for that side one I always keep that one on full so it, it does an excellent job heating. I know there's a lot of talk about this case um, being a copy of the Antec 900. Um, I think it kicks the Antec 900's butt. It's got two fans in the front. It's got a lot more hard drive spots. It's got front loading hard drives with the clips. Sure, these things up front to get the fans off. Oops. <laughs> to get these fans off there's these stupid plates in here they're a real pain in the ass but I mean how often do you take in and out hard drives not very often so it's it's a lot easier than opening up the whole side panel pulling out the hard drive bay slotting it in putting the hard drive bay back in like you have to with the 900 these just have those little clip things that slide right out the front and it has more space for hard drives I can put eight four here four here and the Antec 900 side panel on the side is bigger than the 900 I can turn my lights off on here and turn them on I can turn the fans completely off now that hum in there is just the GPU and the CPU fan it's got uh, eSATA these two guys, um, headphones, a bunch of USB. Um, this thing here is a light on the back. Here, watch. It's a light if you were going to plug in anything back here. That light really helps. Just three big LEDs right there. It's pretty awesome. I'll leave that off, though. It's unnecessary. And then, of course, just your power reset. So, yeah, I think it beats the Antec 900 all around. Anyway, thanks for watching.